in this video we are going to discuss about the natural deduction of proportional logic so what is proportional logic we'll be having some set of statements like this some um, atomic statement like this and these statements will be connected using connectives like your and or conjunction disjunction negation implies and double implies by directional condition okay so these are all the connectives and uh, these statements will be connected using this connectives and we try to form a solution out of it okay so that is proportional logic and natural deduction means actually there are a few rules that are known okay like naturally we know the truth table of each and every connectives when these statements are combined this is the solution for it like i'll take one example over here so here uh, for p i have assigned the statement as the train is late and for q that there is no taxis at the st station there are no taxis at the station and r <coughs> john is late for his meeting so if the train arrives late and if there is no taxis at the station then surely john will arrive late for this meeting so this is the proportion given proposition and along with the proposition it is given that john is not late for like this is a known fact if there is if the train is late and there is no taxi at the station then he will be late for his meeting this is a given proportional logic statement and also it is given that john is not late for meeting so he is on time and train also arrives late so what does that means there will be some taxis at the station so that is the deduction of it so this is called the natural deduction okay so given with some set of statements so these statements are called declarative statement declarative statement has a sr no solution for it and these statements will be connected using any of this connectives <clears throat> and will be having some set of propositions given and out of those propositions we try to find a solution for it okay so that is called a natural deduction okay so here you should know the priority of it like uh, negation has the highest priority then comes your and in or and then comes your implies and by direction condition this is your right associative connectives okay so with this uh, we'll be moving on to what is natural deduction like uh, we'll be having some set of propositions as i said like some proportional logic formulas will be given like this so these are all valid statement okay and with this we'll be trying to prove a conclusion for it so it'll be given with some set of premises this is called premises and this is called conclusion so this is how a natural deduction will looks like it will be given with some set of facts like john is not late for his meeting train did arrive late and this statement is also gi uh, given like if train arrives late and there is no taxis at the station john is late for his meeting so these statements will be given so with this we are going to predict so these are all the given premises or the formulas with this i'm going we are going to predict that there are taxis at the station okay negation q is proved over here okay so this is the conclusion part so when a proportional logic statements are represented in this type this is called a sequent okay we call this as sequent represented in this form some set of proportional logic formulas and you have this symbol this derives this conclusion and we'll be applying some natural deduction phenomena over here so like there are some uh, naturally known phenomena for based on the truth table there are some natural deductions available for negation and or implies in all so we'll see one by one over here so this video i'm going to give the list of formulas available in natural deduction and in the next forthcoming videos i'll show each and i'll take each and every uh, <clears throat> natural deduction phenomena rule and i'll uh, solve it with an example for you. okay so now the formulas exist for this natural deduction are okay so the first one is for conjunction okay and insertion and and elimination so given with two statement p and q both are valid <clears throat> so you should know the truth table for and right like a p q true 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 false and the truth table for and is true false 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 okay when two statements are given if both the statements are valid it means that p and q is also valid so this is called and insertion formula okay so 
both the statements if it is true then we can connect it using and logic so this is called and insertion and and elimination is either p is given <coughs> p and q is given okay so when the statement and elimination means and is given over here we are going to eliminate it so when p and q is given it means that when when is this p and q become valid here like when both p is true and q is true then only when p is valid and q is valid then only your p and q will be valid okay so we can write it as either p or p and q we can write it as q this is called and elimination one and and elimination two okay so this is a, a rule for conjunction so what will be the rule for disjunction rule for disjunction is like when you want to insert a disjunction either p is given or q is given okay so truth table for r is either one statement is true the result is going to be true okay either p is valid or q is valid it can be merged with any other statement you can write it as p r q or p r r or p r s or anything okay so this is for r <clears throat> this junction similarly you can combine something like this p r q or q r r q s r q or anything okay so this is your or insertion when one statement is given and that statement is valid you can combine that with any other statement either true or false it doesn't matter you're going to use an or connection between it okay so this is for r but when it comes to r elimination it is a bit difficult okay it is not that much easy like we cannot directly eliminate r over here see when when does this p r q becomes valid like all this category or valid criteria for p r q either p is true or q is true we cannot come on any justification over here so one thing we can do it is we start from p and we start from q as an assumption and we apply some deduction over here and derive to certain term term like this and if there is a possibility of deriving the same same term over here then we can say that this term is <coughs> valid okay so we cannot directly say that whether p is valid or q is valid it is not possible so one thing we can do it is start from p derive something start from q apply the natural deduction phenomena and derive something and if the end results matches then that end result is a valid one okay so like in the next few videos i'll show you how it is working with an example now four formulas we have seen one is conjunction insertion elimination disjunction insertion elimination our next formula is implies <coughs> implies insertion and elimination implies insertion comes like when the when in the proportional logic statement if you start with the proposition and if you are able to derive to q we can write it as p implies q okay so we are going to start with some propositions <clears throat> apply natural deduction phenomena and the natural deduction pair policy something like this and we derives to another formula q then you can write it as p implies q okay so this is implies insertion and when you want to eliminate this implies you can write it as p p implies q okay so like you can have an example for this like p statement is if it is raining the street gets wet okay so p statement is it is raining and q statement is street get rain uh, wet okay so if it is raining surely street will get wet so this is given this is valid and p is also valid it means that it is raining now so what does that mean the street will get wet okay so p is given p implies q is given now then q is also valid okay so this is for implies insertion elimination and next comes your negation insertion and negation elimination so negation insertion comes like <coughs> if we start with a proposition and if we derives that to false 
okay start up with a proportional rule and end it and derive it like apply this natural uh, deduction and finally if it derives to false then you can write it as not negation p okay so this is negation insertion and negation elimination is given a statement p is valid and given a statement negation p is also valid is that possible no right in that case you can write it as false this is your negation elimination okay p is given negation p is also given that is not possible at all so it is false statement okay you know the symbol right this is your true this is your false and when you write it like this you will be given with the lhs and you are going to prove this rhs out of it <clears throat> okay and uh, next one is double negation okay you have uh, two rules for double negation like in this uh, natural deduction you will be having double negation elimination <clears throat> what is this double negation uh, means here like when i write the statement as negation negation p it is equal to p right a false or false it is raining as p it is not raining as negation p it is not raining negation so it means it is raining <clears throat> okay so that is your p this is double negation elimination and the last rule is given a false statement so when a false elimination when a false statement is given this can be replaced with any other proportional statements okay so these are all the 10 natural deduction rules that you want to know in this space okay so in the next video we'll be taking i'll uh, show you each and every rule separately like for conjunction disjunction implies everything whatever we have discussed so far i'll take one rule and one example for each and every rule and i'll show you how it is actually work Thank you.